Welcome to Software to See from Festo. In this video, we show you how to insert a parts list, how to modify the parts list, and how to save it as your individual template. On this page, I already have some symbols available and also some products. And now I go to reports and you will see there are a couple of standard reports, some templates, for example, two different parts lists, an accumulated parts list that we will use later, and also a single position parts list. So select that and define the position where you want to see your parts list. And now you have the properties of your parts list that you can define. As a first change, I will set the included pages and objects from include all project files to this page only, because I only want to see this products from that page. Okay, and here is my parts list. Now you automatically see everything in the parts list that is also on your page. If I remove a couple of these symbols, you will see they are immediately removed from the parts list. So now I want to modify my parts list because I do not want to see all the columns that are in that list. To modify anything in Fluid Draw, give it a double click. And I'm back at the properties section. We already defined that we only want to see this page's components here. And in the next section, I can select the columns that I want to see. These are my selected columns. I see the position, identification, and so on, down to the supplier. So maybe I do not want to see the position number, then simply uncheck the display option or move it completely to the other side, to the available columns to the left. In addition, I do not want to see the location. I don't want to see the description either. So identification, part number, type, the name, and the supplier is enough for that example. Click OK, and I have a parts list that only displays the information that I want to see. If you do not want to do these modifications every time you use a parts list, you can save that modification as a template. Again, go to the properties page and go here and save that as a new template. Give it any description. Save it anywhere to the server or your local machine. And now that template is saved. Let's see how we can use it. On the first page, I also got products and I want to insert a parts list. Now go to reports. And in addition to the standard reports, I also have one user defined report. And that is exactly that one here that I created earlier. Here you can see our command one page only. So no change is needed. And that will immediately show me exactly the columns I want with the settings that I chose before. That's the individual position parts list. To close, I will also show you the possibility to insert a accumulated parts list. To do that, I created a blank page on the end of my project. And now I insert that report, but in this case, I use the accumulated parts list. Okay. And in that case, I want to see a whole project parts list. I include all my project files, go to the column selection. And in this case, I can define that I do not want to see the location. Okay. And now I see the position number, quantity of each part in the parts list. So that's an accumulated parts list. And the parts list we used before was that single position parts list. 
If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time.